Mantis Blackbeard X for the AR-15 is awesome. What is Mantis Blackbeard X? It is three things. A training laser, an auto trigger reset, and a device to detect movement during the firing sequence trigger press. That is a Mantis X2. Blackbeard X is an auto resetting dry fire training laser for the AR-15. That is with each dry fire shot a laser, green or red, your choice, is emitted and the trigger is automatically reset for quick follow-up shots. No manual cycling of the action is required. The laser and auto resetting trigger is handled by the Mantis Blackbeard X bolt carrier group that quickly replaces your live fire AR-15 bolt carrier group and charging handle. The laser can be adjusted for elevation and windage to match your sighting system within limits. Keep in mind that if you adjust the laser to match your sighting system at close ranges, you'll likely find that the laser is bouncing off the rifling in your barrel. So if you're doing a lot of indoor practice at 10 to 15 yards, you may have to bring your optic down a few MOA to get things zeroed. You have the option of either red or green laser. I chose green to help differentiate laser hits from the red lighted reticle of my ACOG. I mostly shoot light switches and household items, but you can use the laser with the Mantis Laser Academy app. This app can be downloaded for free, and you can even download and print the Mantis Laser Academy targets for free too. The targets keep the QR codes that the app automatically detects to configure the app for the drill. At the time I was testing, Mantis offered almost a dozen targets, and I suspect more will be forthcoming. There is even one target that features start-stop areas to run and control the app. The Mantis Laser Academy app basically uses your phone's camera to see the target, spot the laser hits on the target, and thereby score the hits. It is a very nifty app and, and is loads of fun, but it does mean setting up your phone on a tripod. Some people have reported having some issues with the app seeing green laser hits. I have not had any issues myself. The auto resetting trigger is pretty quick but it does make my Geisley trigger feel just a tiny bit different than during live fire or dry fire without the Blackbeard X. I also had an issue with my first Blackbeard X whereby it would fail to reset our Geisley trigger equipped ARs every 50 to 100 shots. No problems with the standard mil spec trigger. Not sure what the problem was, but Mantis sent a replacement and I've had no problems since. The Blackbeard X magazine contains the battery that runs the laser and the auto resetting trigger. It also contains a Mantis X, basically a device that detects movement during the firing sequence. The device connects to a Mantis X app on your phone via Bluetooth to score your trigger press steadiness. I made extensive use of the original Mantis X10 on both dry fire and live fire. Via the Mantis 63. X app, you can earn patches that Mantis will send to 61. you. Mantis Basic Marksmanship, Advanced Marksmanship, Elite Marksmanship, Basic Combat, Advanced Combat, Gecko 45, an April Fool's favorite, Basic Rifleman, and Advanced Rifleman. You can monitor your whole Mantis training progress via the online Mantis website. This is an unbelievable training resource, as well as a useful platform for testing and comparing different firearms. The address is train.mantisx.com. I've made extensive use of my Mantis X10 Elite on pistols, especially for comparing different pistols for point shooting. I use the Mantis X10 Elite on rifles to do wind tunnel testing, comparing long AR rifles to short bullpup rifles in windy conditions. And I have used Mantis X10 to do basic Project Appleseed dry fire practice. But back to the Blackbeard X. The Blackbeard X magazine has a Mantis X2 embedded within. You just press the lower tab, turn it on, and have it start seeking a Bluetooth connection to your phone. 
Of course, since the Blackbeard X replaces your bolt carrier group and the magazine battery can carry no cartridges, you cannot use this during live fire. If you want Mantis X data for live fire on your AR-15, you will need to purchase a Mantis X3 or a Mantis X10. But for me, the shocking power of the Mantis Blackbeard X is the laser and auto resetting trigger that allows you to develop and practice canted point shooting. Here is an excerpt from my Ambi Your AR video. The Mantis Blackbeard X. To this point, I've covered the upgrades that help the AR become a better ambidextral gunfighter carbine. The Mantis Blackbeard X helps make you a better ambidextral gunfighter. And it is this product that erases my the AR is a relic perspective. I've been using the Mantis Blackbeard X for a few months now. Blackbeard X is three dry fire training tools in one. It's a training laser, a auto resetting trigger, and it also features Mantis X for feedback. Now, if for using the Blackbeard X, I recommend first that you attend a Project Appleseed Rifle Marksmanship Clinic to learn steady hold factors, six steps to firing the shot, and natural point of aim. It's not useful doing dry fire practice and developing muscle memory for poor technique. Appleseed first, or at least watch my old Appleseed Prep video series, but then get a Blackbeard X. I found that I use Blackbeard X auto resetting dry fire system differently than I had anticipated. I have not really used the Mantis X portion of Blackbeard X that much, not like I do on my pistols. Just enough to earn the basic and advanced rifleman patches. But rather I have found the auto resetting laser a boon to practicing what I call point shooting with my AR, using a slightly canted, looking down the barrel, paintball-like technique. I'm not sure if it's because of my experience competing in tournament paintball, but I'm very pleased with how well I can now point shoot my AR. And using Blackbeard X, I've been able to move about the house, stock collapsed, transitioning left hand to right hand and back, engaging targets like light switches, lamps, bottles, etc. It is surprisingly satisfying. I'm so pleased with my results that I'm tempted to remove my ACOG, just mount some backup irons that I only pop, pop up when I feel the need for sighted accuracy. I have not found the, the same proficiency with my RDB. I'm always shooting too high, but since the RDB can't run the auto-resetting Blackbird X, I'm not likely to master it like I have my AR. The Mantis Blackbeard X is a huge advantage for the AR-15 platform. My technique for this canted point shooting is with the stock fully collapsed, rifle canted about 30 degrees, cheek weld forward on the stock with my nose nestled between the ACOG and the top of the receiver. This kind of cheek nose weld is what gives you a consistent point of reference for short range accuracy out to as far as 50 yards. This technique makes my BCM record feel so much like my old tournament paintball guns that I, I have put the AR back on par with my RDB for this kind of optimal use of cover and ambi handling. If you prefer the popular AR-15 over the Ambi Bullpup Alternatives, I highly advise setting up your AR with the Radian Talon 4590 Safety, an Arms Unlimited Ambi Mag Release, and an Ambi Charging Handle. And then get a Mantis Blackbeard X to improve your marksmanship skills and develop your canted rifle point shooting skills. The Mantis Blackbeard X is what rescues the AR-15 from being dismissed as a relic when compared to the modern Ambi bullpups. Highly recommended if you don't want to be a relic.